Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's fucking Wednesday. Um, I'm going to start this by saying, Sandra, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, seriously. So before I even get into that, let me just say, I know you guys are making or wanted me to make a video about Zellner. To be perfectly honest with you guys, there is nothing I can tell you that is not been done already. And I still haven't read the motion. And thank you to Laura Larson who gave me the rundown last night of everything she's going to be testing. Which, what I will say my opinion on, if you already have so much evidence, then why do you need so much fucking testing? Um, but that's personal opinion. Um, like I said, I've also expressed more than once that a psychopath or somebody that believes, a narcissist or somebody that believes that they're holier than now will say, yeah, fuck, do the testing. I got nothing to lose, even if he turns, turns up guilty. In her press conference, she did use a lot of hopefully and maybes. She didn't say maybe, but she said, we hope. Which she's not stupid, but I don't even want to go into that again. Let me just state that, again, um, she is, it, her videos are everywhere. Everyone knows what she's asking. I'm not even going to get into it. Those are my thoughts. But I tell you what I am going to fucking get into because I am livid. Sandra, I don't know how many people saw it. I'm going to link the article to the first link in the description box, I am beyond dumbfounded. I, I can't think of another word to even say it, but fucking dumbfounded. Holy fuck. So Sandra does this article with, I think it was UK Mail, and she goes on to say um, how Stephen gets tons of mail, He get, which we all know, but he gets half-naked girls, he gets people in bikinis, he gets all these, you know, different letters, girlfriends in California, Vegas, whatever. Okay, so, and he kind of, like, dicks her around by saying, you know, oh, well, I love you, but you're different, you know, whatever. Okay, she's 73 years old. I'm going to hope that she did not do all this out of jealousy but again, Sandra, what in the fuck were you thinking? Because, okay, I have always been a diehard supporter. I have been by this man's side from day one. He's innocent, innocent, innocent. I, I can't even say from day one because I actually thought he was guilty. Um, thanks to Sandra's article, I hate to say this, guys, but you guys know that I will call it like it is. Like me, hate me, I don't care. I will always be me. So I don't care if I get thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. You don't like me? Guess what? Don't watch me. But I will always tell you guys like it is. I now have doubts thanks to Sandy's article. And let me tell you, if I have doubts, who else has doubts? So, and before you throw anything at me, let me tell you what was said. All right, so she wants to be jealous or whatever. What the fuck? Fine, whatever, be jealous. But she went on to say she called the family names that everyone's vultures and this and that, whatever. Okay, fine. But then she, what bothers me the most is that she then turns around and states how Stephen, I'm going to actually pull up the article because that's going to make it easier for me. But she goes on to state how Stephen um, has, he's a sex symbol now, and that his um, fiance says that he gets up to 40 letters and pictures of near naked girls a day, but says the fame has gone to his head. She claims that Avery now thinks he's a rock star. She says that he's already spending the millions he thinks he'll get in compensation once he's released. Um, it says that his, his wild behavior is alarming. Those closest to him, including Zellner, Greenman, and his parents, Alan and Dolores. Greenman also says that the family's scrapyard is becoming a tourist attraction and a form of public museum of innocence. Okay, that's not so bad. Let me tell you it is so bad. 
She says that he completely transformed since the show first streamed on Netflix in December, and now he's trying to seduce a string of women while behind bars, and is keeping her as a first reserve. Avery is growing particularly close to one 53-year-old brunette from Las Vegas who is visiting him in two weeks. I'd love to know who this is, because I have no idea. That's how out of the fucking loop I am. Um, it was sent, she said this one woman in Illinois who came to see him, then put on her Facebook page that they were a couple and that she was going to marry him, Sandra Greenman. Okay, Sandra, get over the jealousy. You're 73 years old. And I'm not downing her. I'm calling it like it is. And before you guys get mad at me, listen further. Um, Greenman, who visits Avery at least once a week, said there's been a lot of issues I've been speaking to the lawyer about. He has received more mail from women, like Zellner fucking cares. And I'm not and I'm talking about not just letters, but pictures, bikini ones. For a while, he was getting 40 letters a day. Some of these women falling at his feet, they want to be a celebrity. He's never had women after him like this. It's He's the strangest sex symbol you'll ever know. You know what, Sandra? If you love him, then he should be a sex symbol in your eyes. Um, then she talks about this other woman living in Vegas. Um, she's very pretty. There's no way she'd want Stephen Aver usually. All the family are afraid of her. Something isn't right. I know she wants fame and she's looking for money. Then they show a picture of Allie and um, Megan. And honestly, I don't know who else is in this picture because I think Deb, who yelled at me for saying something about Derek, but they have them as protesters. Um, Zelna did a background check. And I mean, this so far we're all about jealousy. But then it goes on to say one woman sent him $900. I'd like to know who that was. And now is asking me for it back. She says he's writing to women, promising them all sorts of things. He's now well-liked in prison. This is where it starts to really fucking bother me. He's now well-liked in prison. I've seen it a couple of times. Prisoners putting their hands on his shoulder saying good luck or people coming up to us in the visiting room. I'm sure he'll be signing autographs soon. This is all going to his head. The new Steve thinks that he can get away with anything. He told me that they don't search his cell as much as they used to. I asked why, and he said they wouldn't dare. What? Because they'd be scared to annoy all of his followers? He thinks he's a Hollywood star. I said it to him on Saturday, what did you do with my Steven? Who are you? The difference is he's arrogant, thinks he could do anything. He's not loving anymore. He thinks he's going to be released tomorrow. He says he can't do this anymore. He wants to start living now. You ask him how he's going to start and he comes out with all these crazy things. Okay, you guys can read the rest on your own. But it says his behavior is so concerning that Make It a Murder filmmakers Laura Riccardi and Maura Demos are considering not putting anything about his personal life into the sequel, which is happening later this year. So at least we get a date. It's coming out in the next couple of months. I'm going to guess they may release it at the same time as they did last year. Greenman says, are we an item? Then she goes back into more jealousy. All right. I am not trying to be a dick. But the way she described him is exactly how he was last time he got out. He was a celebrity. Everybody wanted him. Everybody knew who he was, blah, blah, blah. So logically speaking, well, if he was the same way last time, um, maybe he did kill Teresa. And again, don't throw anything at me, but that is exactly what I felt like when I read the article. My initial thought was, okay, she's jealous. But it was more of, oh my fucking God, now I have doubts. So Sandra, you should be ashamed of yourself for doing a fucking article like this at 73 years old. And honestly, I don't care who gets mad at me. I have given so many motherfucking hours of energy and time into this case. And if I find out he is guilty, oh, I'm going to be fucking pissed. But... I, nobody asked me to put in all these hours and time. I did it on my own, but I am I am really, really dumbfounded. And I'm pissed at Sandra for putting doubt in my mind that I didn't have from December. And if I 
I'm not the only one that she put doubt into. I can guarantee that. So check out the article. Let me know what you guys think. The other thing I want to say is I apologize to my group and whoever else I said, you know, that the police um, th claimed there was a typo. And I was half-assed, you know, looking in the groups and I saw this and then I brought it up. But I'm a fucking idiot because what I realized today is that it came from... Um, it came from the, uh, EWE people Ed Edwards theory people, which is so fucking absurd that I'm not even going to go there, but just so you know, the latest theory is, um, if you're not familiar is that, uh, it's Lacey Peterson, you know, from Scott Peterson, like many, many years ago that her bones were found in the quarry. This is how fucking retarded these people are. So please nobody give me this any once I heard that, I never want to hear about Ed Edwards again because the whole theory is fucking ridiculous and it just keeps getting more and more insane. So if you're in my group, watch my videos. Please don't even comment about Ed Edwards because it just, you'll make me mad, like literally. Sorry, but it's true. Um, I just want to close out tonight with um, Bambi. I hope you enjoy the $5,000 plus worth of clothes that I sent you and I hope that your family enjoys it. And I'm not mad. It is what it is. And Laura, I could speak for Laura Larson and Chris and Kim and um, anyone else that I'm glad you, I hope you enjoy it. And we sent it. I mean, and you received it tonight. So that's all I got to say, guys. I have to go cook dinner for the kids. Um, have a great night. You know where to find me. And please read the article and tell me if you guys got the same feeling I did because I am fucking pissed. So that's it. All right. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.